Hi all, follow up video from uh, yesterday's video we uploaded. This is the Virarch HW99S, my early birthday present. Fitted with the uh, Nico Sterling 3B9 before T AO Mountmaster uh, scope. I'm not that impressed with it if I'm honest. The gun weighs eight pounds with the scope fitted and the rings. Uh, I will do uh, a follow up. A video about the scope comparing it to my other scopes but it is a budget scope this spoon represents just a reference to the size of the 5p circles that i've drew on a piece of 14 centimeter target card um keep shooting till i get all the circles i didn't realize that first shot i'd done in the top left corner that i'd missed but uh basically I was ho hoping that I could uh, shoot the circles and maybe first shot get inside somewhere inside the uh, <laughs> the line of the circle, but it didn't quite go that way. And uh, during the shooting of this first target, I uh, kept making adjustments to the trigger, making it easier because I thought maybe I was pulling myself off uh, off sight. Um, then I'll try different positions on holding the gun. And then when I got that number three target there, when I uh, hit it first shot, I thought, ah, the gun's a bit hold sensitive. It likes to be held this way. So the next shot then I would probably miss. So then I would try altering the trigger again, thinking I'm pulling myself off, off aim as I, as I release the, uh, you know, as I take the shot. And I keep trying different things and keep trying different holds and, and all sorts of things. There was gusts of wind, but I don't think that would make that much difference at uh, 45 feet. But uh, they look quite good on the screen. Nice and clear and big, those circles, but they're 18 millimeter diameter, a five pence piece. If you're not uh, familiar with the UK five pence piece, it's uh, 18 mil, which is probably only slightly bigger than a, a rabbit's eyeball. Um, and that's at 45 feet, the furthest I can shoot in my garden uh, while we're on this lockdown business. So uh, usually with my Gamo Fox, my uh, PCP, budget PCP, or in the American market, I believe it's called the Urban, um, more or less can hit one of those circles every shot, first time. But uh, then I'll play mind games thinking, well, it is a spring gun at the end of the day. Maybe the barrel's not leaded in, maybe the spring hasn't uh, levelled off in power. Um, lots of different things are going through my mind while I'm doing the target, but uh, on the whole, not very clever. My poor old gun. But those are the pellets I'm using, which is the Webley VMX ones that, uh, that was given with the gun by the manager of the shop, Solware, in Tamworth. When I bought cheaper guns, I normally get the ones at the bottom. They give me a tin of those, which are much more expensive. Then you buy an expensive gun and uh, you get the cheap pellets. I don't quite know how that works. This but is uh, This is my uh, second target I've put up, and I'm hoping this time to hit them all because I've, uh, I think I've learned how to hold the gun, despite the fact that I don't think them pellets I'm using are too clever. I have got other pellets, but uh, the old barrel needs some lead down it, so I might as well use the rubbish ones. So I'll give it another try, and hopefully it'll be more successful than the last target. So there you have it. I've done another target. Drew round me five pence pieces. Uh, I've cut lots of, uh, obviously, loading the gun and putting the pellets, and I've cut that, edited that out of the film, and um, I've also speeded this one up the second target, so that... Uh, you know, you don't want to hang yourself watching this. It's like watching paint dry. But um, I, I was fooled and argue, arguing with myself in the head because uh, some of these shots I got first time and in some of them, it seems I shot five, five shots to actually hit the target. And on a couple of them further down, I actually sort of give up and move on to the next target. And I was getting a bit disheartened. Um, because I, cause I do know that obviously the PCP at that range, even though it's got slightly better magnification telescopics, would have uh, more than likely got in the circle first time. So uh, that, that target number 10 I gave up on, I went straight to 11. And uh, 
it's getting disheartening at this point because I'm thinking, blimey, five or six shots at one target. Uh, it must be me. So in the equation of the gun, me, the trigger, the pellets, the mounts, the scope, lots of things were going through in my mind. Um, so I was scratching my head and thinking and thinking, well, I think I did a bit better than this in my last video with this gun and, you know, my first video of the gun when I got it. I'm sure things weren't quite this bad. Maybe the uh, maybe the uh, sights have moved slightly with the recoil of the gun. So I checked that all the Allen key heads were, you know, the nuts were tight. The bolts, should I say, not the nuts. Um, yeah, I, I checked everything I possibly could and then I re... I retensioned the trigger to exactly where it was when I bought it. Um, but, but there's a lot of things in the equation. So, time to take action. Change the pellets is the easy one. That, that was what I thought. But by this time, my camera had run out of battery because I'd used it on two targets for about 20 minutes. And uh, that decided to die. So I couldn't actually film this one, but um, I will repeat this performance again. But look at that. Hey, bingo. Cheered me up, that did. I did some sighting shots on the left of the target. And then every shot after that first shot was within the circle. And on the uh, third shot, bang on a little um, <laughs> a pen dot. Um, very close on some other ones. So that cheered me up because that's, uh, that's PCP accuracy. Or it's as good as my... Um, definitely as good as my Gamo Fox. But I shall do some more testing. See what happens, but uh, that really did cheer me up. So uh, don't use those Webley pellets. They're very likely to be pretty rubbish. Thank you, Solware, uh, for your crap pellets. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for watching. Take care, all. Catch you soon.